you uh, met Mr. Floyd uh, at Salvation Army. Yes. And then proceeded to you know, maintain a relationship with him. Yes. And I have to ask you if you know, drug use was a part of that relationship. Yes. And what kind of drug use um, was a part of that relationship? Floyd and I uh, both suffered with an opioid addiction. And do you know how, I mean, like for your own self, yeah. how, it, how you came to be involved, you know, with what, what kind of drugs and how you became the involved? Use of opioids, yes. Um, <clears throat> both Floyd and I, our, our, our story, uh, it's, it's a classic story of uh, how many people get addicted to opioids. We both suffered from chronic pain. Mine was in my neck and his was in his back. We both um, had prescriptions. But um, after prescriptions uh, that were filled and uh, we, 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 we got addicted and and tried really hard to uh, break that addiction many times. And were you each aware of each other's struggles with opioids? It, yes, eventually in our relationship we shared that. And did you sort of work together on that? Issue? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, over how long of a period did this struggle go on for you, for both of you? Uh, Addiction, in my opinion, is a lifelong struggle. Uh, so it's something that we, we, we dealt with every day. You know, you, it's not something that just kind of comes and goes. It's something I'll deal with forever. And were there periods of time when you were not using opioids? Absolutely. And same question with regard to Mr. Floyd. Yes, absolutely. And were there times when um, you knew that he was using opioids um, more than by prescription. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. And when you weren't using, uh, you know, prescription opioids, uh, you know, where did you get them? Uh, off the street. Okay. On the black market. <laughs> and you knew that he was doing that as well? Yes. And uh, turning your attention to, well, let me ask this. You were in a relationship for nearly three years. Yes. Um, and did, did this use of opioids uh, beyond even prescriptions sort of continue throughout that three-year period for Mr. Floyd? Yes. And it's something that you saw yourself and were aware of. Yes. And I have to ask the same question of you. Did you struggle using during that entire period? Yes. And were there times when you would use together? Yes. And for what you saw Mr. Floyd using, mm -hmm. you know, what form of opioids did he typically use? Um, oxycontin or oxycodone and, and, you know, any kind of oxy. And how did he get that? How did he use it? Uh, swallow them, 